With just one group left, the remaining six athletes are eager to begin their journey to the Tachi Palace World Strongest Man Fight. Group five is stacked with some of the strongest competitors across the board. Veterans like Nick Best of the United States in his ninth appearance and Great Britain's Terry Hollins making his 13th are laser focused on a trip to the main stage. While fresher faces like Georgia's Konstantin Janashia and Poland's Mateusz Kieliuszkowski have been grinding their way into the spotlight. Who will rise to the top next? Davao City's Eden Nature Park and Resort, the spectacular haven tucked inside the hills just above Davao City. It's a stunning refuge for nature lovers. Brent Stover alongside Aaron Taylor of the Philippines has been a very kind host to this year's edition of the World's Strongest Man. And in just a bit, the fifth and last qualifying group begins their run for this year's final. Yeah, there'll be six great strength athletes competing for the final two spots. And Eastern Europe will be well represented in this group. From Poland, there's Mateusz Kieliuszkowski, who blew us away with his plane pull win in last year's final. From the Republic of Georgia, Konstantin Janasia, who, like Kieliuszkowski, is looking to make his third straight trip to the final. The always charismatic Mikhail Shivlyakov from Russia, looking to return to the final for a second time. And Latvia's strongest man title holder in making his debut here, Ivars Schmokstelis. Representing the United States in this group is 49-year-old Nick Best, who qualified for the final by winning his group last year. And then there's another World's Strongest Man veteran from Great Britain. That's Terry Hollins, looking for his 10th all-time trip to the final. So certainly it's a super loaded group, and they begin their quest for the final in the Logan Carry. Over at Rizzo Park in Central Manila, a brutal test of strength and athleticism as the athletes will be tested in a grueling event where they'll load two 330-pound sacks on the platforms 12 meters away, then carry a farmer's walk apparatus weighing the same as the two sacks combined. The first three athletes of Group 5 make their way to the start line. Here now a look into who these athletes are in our Tachi Palace Power Profiles. Mikhail Shivlikov, Russia. Sorry, I do not speak English. Ah, yeah. I was Schmalstelis, Latvia. Last year I came like a reservist. This year I'm fully competitor. Everybody here is superhuman. First two with Brian Shaw and Thor. They are machines. Right now it's hard to say who will be third. It will be who may be not so nervous, who won't make some mistakes, who will be luckier. Nick Best, United States. Last year I was planning on retiring. I like doing it and I qualified again, so here I am. I've been let down by a lot of stuff in my life. I've never been let down by the weights. I've used it as a focus to achieve so many other things in my life. I have a job that I work 55 to 60 hours a week at. Our family's set up around being a family, work, straw man, everybody's busy. Oh, I'm getting too up for that. Part of my longevity actually has to do with, I don't compete in straw man that much, maybe five, six times a year, that's it. I'll start doing an event, something doesn't feel right, you know what I do? I stop. And that's what's kept me here so long. Nick Best, one of those guys you can't look away from. He's 49 years old, still going at it. The crowd absolutely loves him, and he keeps pushing through. Always worth keeping an eye on. Yeah, he's out of the gate here first. Oh, but has a little bit of a bobble at the table, which allows Shivlyakov to get back to the line first and grab that second 330-pound sack. Shabak still is in the far lane, but Shivlyakov in the near lane, and he's on to the final apparatus. Shivlyakov is extremely smooth in his transitions, a critical element to be successful in this event. 
Farmer's walk apparatus, 660 pounds. He's halfway down the stretch. Gives it a little pause. Gave a little bit of an opportunity in opening, but still able to cross to win the first heat. Ishidlyakov with Shvakstelis in the far lane, finishing in second. At best, still struggling with that second sack. Best is only six foot two, which isn't very tall by strongman standards. This is an event where longer arms and limbs really kind of help you. He's strong and powerful, but really struggling getting that second sack up onto the platform, which is unfortunate because he says that the Farmers Walk apparatus is his favorite event. Well, the fans here in Manila trying to help him along, but he hits the time limit just as he was starting, as you mentioned, his favorite apparatus. So the Russian, Mikhail Shivlyakov, goes into the lead 40.64 here in the Loden carry. After a little bit of a slow start, Shivlyakov very smartly grabs the apparatus towards the front end of the handles, which gives him the perfect center of gravity to cross the finish line first. And our next three athletes look like they are eager to get started. First, let's take a look at their Tachi Palace power profiles. Konstantin Janashia, Georgia. I am feeling good. Last year, no good. This year, I am very strong. Maybe I top three. Georgian Bull. Mateusz Kieliszkowski. Poland. This is my third world strongest man competition, and I am ready to fight. <laughs> Alexandra always going with me to the most important competition, supporting me and helping me and screaming <laughs> to be stronger, to be faster. Yes. Terry Holland's Great Britain. Both the last two years were quite a disappointment. Coming back from retirement, I knew it was going to be tough. If you want a different result, you can't keep doing the same things all the time. So currently sort of going through a bit of a transition in terms of my strong man and my home life. This is the lightest I've competed at World's Strongest Man. My leverages are completely different. I've had to change technique on certain events. <laughs> Maybe my chances of winning World's Strongest Man have passed and I'm not quite in a position where I could be challenging the likes of Brian Shaw and Ford. But I want to continue doing it as long as I can, be as competitive as I can. Hopefully see an even better Terry Hollands than we've seen before. Terry Hollands has competed in World's Strongest Man 13 times, seeking his 10th trip to the final since coming back from retirement in 2016. He has yet to make that trip. Yeah, and he's really slimmed down this year, dropping a lot of weight after taking some time off. And the last one to have the first sack to the platform, he's almost getting lapped here in the middle lane by Kieliuszkowski. Kieliuszkowski looks really strong. And he's on to the final apparatus. He leads far lane as Konstantin Janosia in second. But the story here is Kieliuszkowski of Poland. He didn't blink on the opening event. He was out of the gates like a lightning bolt. As we see Janashia there crossing the finish line second with those big traps on the base of his neck really helps in the load and carry. But how about Terry Hollins? We've seen this guy perform so well throughout the years. He looks fantastic, but it really seems to have a negative effect on his performance in an event like this. The winner for group five. So the winner the here in carry. group five of for the Poland, opening event Mateusz is Poland's Mateusz Kieliuszkowski. Wins the load and carry in 29-30. Well, those big buys and back and legs worked in perfect unison, which allowed the young pole to absolutely punish this event. Mateusz Kieliuszkowski, the early leader at time of 29.30. The Georgian bull, Konstantin Janashia, comes in second. And Russia's Mikhail Shivlyakov finishes in third place. When we return, the six athletes of Group 5 will be tested in both brute strength and precision when they take on the kettlebell toss, an event that separates the men from the boys. Who will prove they are the strong man to beat? We find out when we come back to the Tachi Palace World's Strongest Man, presented by Rogue. Which is sponsored by Tachi Palace Hotel and Casino in Lamore, California. And by Rogue, leading provider of American-made strength and conditioning equipment.
Welcome back to the magnificent country of the Philippines, where the athletes of Group 5 took on their next test of strength at Coconut Palace in Manila. The kettlebell toss. The objective is clear. Here's Nick Best to tell us how it works. You're first, aren't you? Or? Oh, yes, I am. Meet. Back up. <laughs> so the kettlebell toss, you have to learn how to use your body and swing. A lot of the guys you'll see will jump backwards and it sends it flying over. The height is 15.5 and the kettles are a little awkward to hold on to. They start at 44 and they go all the way up to 66 pounds. It's about speed, quickness. You gotta run up, grab the next one, run back, throw it over, run back and forth. So it's a good test of power, explosiveness, and your cardiovascular condition. This is gonna be one of the most interesting heats to watch. Group five has been nicknamed the group of death. There's so many guys that are evenly matched. We have three finalists from last year. All five of the guys have been to the finals multiple times. We're gonna have Mikhail, Constantine, they will battle. But I think Mateus is gonna be the most interesting to watch. The kid's a freak. Terry Hollins is looking in phenomenal shape. It's basically gonna come down to whoever makes the fewest mistakes. It's gonna be sick. Representing the United States, Nick Best. Light this up. Ladies and gentlemen, Mikhail Shivyakov. A little problem. Representing Latvia, <laughs> Ivers Smokestelis. Come on, Terry! Let's go! Mate, yeah. I need more warm up. Just too stiff. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Constantine Janosha. Hi, Sibiria. Ladies and gentlemen, our final competitor, Mateusz Czernyszkowski. Panaście sekund, yes! Whoa. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, the winner, Mikhail Shivlyakov. Yeah! Good job! Thank you very much. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> Siberian Force. Russia's Mikhail Shivlyakov, the Siberian force, as he just referred to himself, takes the group, the only one who managed to complete all eight kettlebells. Mateusz Kieliuszkowski of Poland in second with seven kettlebells. Ivar Shmokstilis of Latvia took third. Kieliuszkowski continues to lead the group with 11 points. After Shivlyakov's kettlebell toss win, he's now in second after two events. Chinashia of Georgia in third. Here's Jenny. Coming up next at the Tachi Palace, world's strongest man, the deadlift. At 640 pounds, our strongman will reach down, grab this bar, pull it up to hip level, and place it back down again. But after every successful lift, another weighted barrel is added, going up to 835 pounds. Which athlete will have the most reps in 60 seconds? We'll find out. Welcome back to the Tachi Palace, World's Strongest Man. We are here in Manila, Philippines, where we return to the Coconut Palace, and Group 5 will take on the next event, the deadlift. Ah, uh, yes, Brent. The deadlift is one of the gold standards in strength athletics, where the athletes will have 60 seconds to lift an apparatus ranging from 640 to a brutal 835 pounds. Most reps wins. First up was Nick Best of the United States. At age 49, trying to find the found the youth, it is ninth world's strongest man appearance, and he's able to deadlift six reps. Then there was Terry Hollins, another longtime veteran of Great Britain, full time strongman, has returned leaner than ever, but he looks frustrated, gives up after just one rep. And now it's time for Constantine Chanashia of Georgia. Aaron, he placed fourth in the 2016 world's strongest man final in eighth place last year in 2017. This is third World's Strongest Man appearance. Janashi is one of my favorite strongmen to watch compete. He just looks the part. One of the things you first notice about him, Brent, is those massive shoulders that he's got. 
This isn't necessarily an event that utilizes those. This is more about the legs and the hips and the upper back. But Janashia is a strong competitor who certainly brings everything he's got to the table across the board. Here's the number to beat Nick Best, six, and Janashi able to lock it out. Now, can he go into the lead with a seventh? He takes a knee, and generally, this is the end of the road. Yes, it is. The white flag usually gets waved when you drop to a knee and take a break. Going to be really hard for him to get this next rep. And he taps out right there. He was in third place coming Ladies into this event overall here in Group 5. But he's the current co-leader now with Nick Best, both with six reps. Well, it was interesting. Those first six reps really took their toll on the Georgian Giant, but he powered through with an effort that he's got to be proud of. Up next is Lafia's Ivar Schmoxtelis. He's in fourth after two events. Came in as a reserve last year, but didn't get to compete. So this, his first official World's Strongest Man appearance. Schmoxtelis looking good through these first couple of reps. One of the things I'm noticing, though, is that he's locking his legs out first in sort of a dislocated motion and then straightening his back at the end. That puts a tremendous amount of pressure on your lower spine. He started strongman at age 18. He's now 30. He needs to beat six, and he taps out after four. So that puts him currently in third again, place here in this event, the deadlift. With a lot of different techniques utilized here, Schmoxilis has the wider base with the externally rotated feet. His power in his lower body just gave out, and it was too much for his upper back. With Nick Best and Konstantin Janashia both able to hit six reps, the final three competitors have a tough task ahead of them facing the deadlift. Kili Ishkovsky, Shivlyakov, and Janashia have held the top seats on the scoreboard thus far. Who will come out on top here? We find out next on the Tachi Palace, World's Strongest Man, presented by Tachi Palace Hotel and Casino in Lamore, California. We return to Manila at the Coconut Palace for the conclusion of the deadlift. Nick Best and Konstantin Janashi are tied for the lead, both able to power through six reps. Schmoxtelis with four, and the veteran Terry Hollins with only one, and two athletes now remain. Mateusz Kieliuszkowski of Poland. He's only 24 years of age. He's the second youngest guy in the competition in only his third World Strongest Man appearance. Made the finals both times, placing seventh in 2016 and sixth in 2017. He's got tremendous lower body strength. One of the best bus and plane pullers in this competition. But this is a little bit of a different lift. This involves the legs, the hips, the back, and coordinated motion. And Kili Oskowski still has some room to grow in this event, in my opinion. He's the leader after two events. He's being labeled the future of strongman. Has to beat six reps. And you notice his base is tight with his toes faced forward. We saw Schmoxtelis on his last rep with pronated feet. But Kili Oskowski really fighting for that last and final fifth rep and gets it. And he calls it a day after five. So Ladies and gentlemen, he comes up again, just shy of that co-lead, which stands at six. You can tell that weight really took its toll on Kili Oskowski. This is his least favorite event, and it showed. He gave it all he had in those first four reps, but found just enough to get that final fifth one. Up next, Mikhail Shivlyakov of Russia. It is fourth World's Strongest Man appearance. His best finish was ninth, and that was in 2015. So seeking right here his second trip to the final. Shivlyakov really composing himself before each lift. Typically, this would be something that would be concerning for the strong men as they were trying to gather strength of some sort. Shivlyakov has the strength, but it really looks like he's focused and determined, and it seems to be working. He's in second place after two events. The number to beat is six, and he's more than halfway there. As he gets his fourth right there, the next barrel drops in. And he's got to be confident after placing third in this year's Arnold Strongman Classic. He's one of the fan favorites here. Always seems to take this sport quite a bit more seriously than he takes himself. I think his headwear helps with that. <laughs> so now he's tied. We got three guys that have completed six. Can Shivlyakov separate himself after catching his breath and going to his knees? 
How many men on this planet would have a smile on their face after lifting and doing what this young man is doing? And he did it. That smile just got bigger. Seven reps to take the event. The deadlift winner is Mikhail Shivlyakov of Russia. Salutes the camera, which is kind of his tradition there. But unbelievable technique and strength. You almost stand up and drive through your heels to get the weight moving and then use your hips and back to thrust through. And the pleasure and smile says it all. Russia's Mikhail Shivlyakov takes the group with seven reps. Nick Best and Konstantin Janashia tie for second, six reps each. Kiliushkovsky finished with five. After three events, Shivlyakov leads the group by two points with 16 total. Mateusz Kiliushkovsky of Poland drops down to second after his fourth place finish in the deadlift. Konstantin Janashia remains in third. The top three athletes of group five are just three and a half points apart after three events. And the automatic qualification into the final is fair game for anyone. Will the Georgian Bull, Konstantin Janashia, come back with a vengeance? Or will Russia's Mikhail Shivlyakov prove he's the one to beat? Mateusz Kiliushkovsky of Poland will without a doubt be one of the biggest threats as the race gets tighter. Who will break out ahead and show their grit is worthy of the final? Find out next time on the Tachi Palace World's Strongest Man. For Aaron Taylor, Jenny Dell, and our entire CBS crew, I'm Brent Stover. In association with IMG Original Content, this has been a presentation of CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. Time is running out. Only three events are left to go in this year's qualifying round with three men engaged in a super tight race for the last two spots for this year's final. After two straight event wins, will Russia's Mikhail Shivlyakov make his second ever appearance to the final? Or will the 24-year-old Mateusz Kiliushkovsky go for his third straight? The Georgian bull Konstantin Janashia is ready to fight his way back in, but who will come out on top? We find out next at the Tachi Palace, World's Strongest Man. Intramuros, Manila's old walled city, etched with history at every turn, including the Casa Manila, a preserved 19th century grand home that will transport you back in time to Manila's Spanish era. Prince Dover alongside Aaron Taylor in just a bit. The last two spots in this year's World's Strongest Man final will be decided. Yeah, and it looks like it's going to be a fight to the finish with this outstanding group of competitors here in Group 5. The current leader... The ever charismatic and stylish Mikhail Shivlyakov of Russia, a.k.a. the Siberian Force. Donning his trademark Russian Marines beret and taking first in two of the three events thus far. Just two points behind Mikhail, 24-year-old Mateusz Kiliuszkowski of Poland. Called by many the future of strongman, looking to reach his third final in as many appearances here. Also in the hunt, the Georgian bull, Konstantin Janashia also within striking distance, and like Mateus, looking to make it to his third final and just his third appearance. Only two men will get a spot in the final. Three events remain as we head out now for the fourth event for group number five. It's a world's strongest man classic, the bus pull. It's 29,000 pounds over a 30 meter course. What's up guys? Hey. What's going on? Good, how you doing? Better than average, just yeah. waiting to do the bus pull. So we're just gonna pull and you just go all out and place where you place. Lactic acid buildup when they get to the end, their legs are exploding in pain. How they stand up, I don't know. It's gonna be hot, it's gonna be heavy, and it's gonna be fun. Just lock in and go. I'm gonna go out on my own terms, but if you want my spot, you're gonna have to beat me to take it. You're not gonna get it just because I retired. I've made a couple of mistakes on events that should have gone well. I've just gotta get out.
out there and pull it as hard as I can. Normally they sort of accelerate with you because they're on a flat. Where this runs uphill, it just doesn't accelerate at all. It's like walking on sand. I needed a good result there and luckily I got one. These are climbing shoes, better grip. There's many small nifts you need to know. This Misha is crazy. Good, good man. George Angul. We've got to get them off the road, they can't collapse. The oxen takes a mine of the pain that's in their legs. These guys who have got huge muscles, when these guys' muscles cramp, it's excruciating. You shake their legs to try and get the lactic acid out, and as soon as you can, you try and get them to walk it off. Mateus, the kid's a freak. I must win this event because I need my points to go to the final. Matthias is an unbelievable truck puller. Ah! I think you are best. You. The winner, Matthias Kiliuskowski. I am happy. So Poland's Matthias Kiliuskowski comes out on top with a time of 35.86. Terry Hollins of Great Britain in second with 39.04. He had to have a good event, and he was able to get it. Konstantin Janashia takes third. That win pushes Kiliuskowski back up top with 20 points. That last place finish for Shivlyakov puts him in second, three points behind Kiliuskowski. Janashia staying steady in third. Up next on the Tachi Palace, world's strongest man. Group 5 takes on one of the most gritty events of the competition, the overhead press. The leader, after this event, automatically qualifies for the final, and it comes your way next. Team Tachi Palace World's Strongest Man on CBS Sports is sponsored by Tachi Palace Hotel and Casino in Lemoore, California. And by Rogue, leading provider of American-made strength and conditioning equipment. We are back here again at Bonifacio Global City for the fifth event of the qualifiers, the overhead press, where the top athlete from Group 5 will lock in one of the two remaining spots in the final. Well, this is about as simple as it gets, but simple does not mean easy, as the strongmen will have to lift four dumbbells overhead, ranging in weights from 200 to 265 pounds. On the left, representing... The time the limit United is one States. minute, and on the left Please here is press. Nick Best of the United States, sixth place after four events at age 49. And Terry Hollins, another wily veteran, a world's strongest man at the age of 38. He's in fifth after four events. On the overhead press, Brent, of course the shoulders and pressing power will be the key areas of focus, but also the legs and hips will help out, and give some support as well. Best looking really good on that first rep, Hollins as well. You mentioned they range from 200 to 265 pounds. Best on the second one with his big right arm, Hollins with his left. Which is interesting because he's right hand dominant, but he's got a chipped bone in his right elbow. So to Hollins credit, he's given it everything he has with his opposite hand. Best here we see trying to get that 220 pound dumbbell overhead. That's an NFL running back that he's trying to lock out there and gets it. But he comes up holding that left elbow. Boy, you wonder how serious that's going to be. Meantime, Holland's still going after it with the left. Well, it appears that he's going to go to the other arm. Best is to his right. We don't know how the left is doing right now. The 245-pounder with his right. He doesn't get a chance. The time limit arrives. 
pass. So he's able to get two dumbbells in 37.90 meantime. Terry Holland's Holland. only able to get one in 7.43. Terry just looking dejected. But how about Nick Best? Not a big fan of the pressing events, but his smooth technique and raw power early on were enough to give him the lead for now. Ladies and gentlemen, on the Ivar's Schmachstelis of Latvia at age 30. He's in fourth after four events. 6'2", 314 pounds. He's on the left. On the right, the 27-year-old. Konstantin Janashi from the Republic of Georgia. Third place after four events. Earlier this year, Janashia took second in Europe's Strongest Man, an event that half Thor won. He really needs to do well here to keep those points going and look pretty good on that 200-pound dumbbell, getting it up overhead relatively easily. Struggles there with the second one, though, as we see Schmachstelis getting a very clean lockout on his second attempt. So Schmachstelis is halfway through. Janashia, remember, he's in third place. In this group number five, only the top two spots advance to the final. And there's Janashia locking out the second. Schmoxtelis goes to work on the third. That dumbbell looks pretty far back on Schmoxtelis' shoulder. And it's really hard for him to get that lockout. Where these strong men put the dumbbells on their shoulders is critical for them to be able to use their legs to get it up overhead and then to get underneath it and fully lock it out. But the longer you have to sit there with it on your shoulder trying to get it set, the toll that it takes. It takes its toll, you're burning energy, your heart rate gets up, and both these men are going to have to tap out after two. But they do go into first and second in the dumbbell press because they each got their first two in a pretty darn good time, especially that man. Ivar Schmachstelis of Latvia goes into the lead, two dumbbells in 16.70. And Konstantin Janashia of the Republic of Georgia goes into second place. Two dumbbells in a time of 28.87 seconds. Just a solid effort by both of these strongmen, but Janashia wasn't pretty, but that quasi-split jerk stance really allowed him to slide under and get that nice time on that second 220-pound dumbbell. They are two of the most talented athletes here this year. Mateusz Kieliuszkowski and Mikhail Shivliakov each with two event wins. Next, they go head-to-head -head with an automatic berth to the final on the line on the Tachi Palace, world's strongest man presented by Rogue. Welcome back to the Tachi Palace, world's strongest man presented by Rogue. The remaining two spots for this year's final to be determined shortly. But first, a look back at the eight great strongmen who've already qualified. Matias Belshak advances to the final. Half board looks determined and focused, and now he's headed to the final to prove he's got what it takes. The automatic qualification of the final is all but certain for the American, Ryan Shaw. Shaw did just what he needed. On to the final stone, if Els can get this one on the platform, he wins. And it's over. Johan Els of South Africa is into the final. Yeah! Group three began their quest, neck and neck. Zadrunas, you are now qualified. If Big OB can get it up right here, it's over, and he does! Robert Obers, back into the final! An emotional win for Big OB. Qualifying to the final, Marches Lindsay! Carone gets it up, and on! He's into the final! Wow, there's going to be some tough competition in the final. And these last two spots will not be easy ones to claim with an automatic berth on the line. Four athletes have already competed. Latvia's Ivar Schmachstelis is the man to beat with two dumbbells in 16.70. Janashia and Best both also managed to get two dumbbells. And now two athletes remain. Mateusz Kieliuszkowski of Poland placed seventh in 2016 and sixth in 2017. Let's get to know him in our Tachi Palace Power Profile. Mateusz Kieliszkowski, Poland. 
I am very happy. It's my third world strongest man competition, and I am ready to fight. Six five, three hundred twenty-five pounds. I think I am bigger than last year. Events for me is good. Dumbbell loading, overhead press, track pull. I hate only deadlift. But I will try my best in other events. Alexandra always going to the most important competition, supporting me and screaming to be stronger, to be faster. I am stressed because it will be not easy to go final. My group is very hard this year. I don't know what will happen. It is very hard competition. So, firstly, I must go to final. It's my goal. <laughs> They've Poland. talked about Kieliszkowski being the future of strongman, and he's made it clear he loves this event. And he's the leader after four events, the man Russia, from Poland. Mikhail Shivlyakov. And here's Mikhail Shivlyakov. On the right, at age 37, he's in second after four events. So these are the top two men. You got the 24-year-old and the 37-year-old. Kieliuszkowski's got tremendous pressing power, and look how easily he gets up that first 200-pound dumbbell. Brent, it's been the second dumbbell that's really given some of the other competitors issues, but both Kieliuszkowski and now Shivlyakov making it look easy. They've both been beasts this entire competition. You can see here where a lot of the previous competitors in the group started to waver in this event. These guys are able to power through it. And Kieliuszkowski... Power, to say the least, gets all four dumbbells. Almost look effortless as Shivlikov calls it quits after two. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, give it up for Mateusz So it's an event win and a qualification of the World's Strongest Man final through five events for Kieliuszkowski. It's effort like these that has everybody so high on him. He's got the strength of an ox, but it was that flawless technique that should be enough to win this event outright. So the 24-year-old from Poland, Mateusz Kieliuszkowski, wins and gets to the final, and he's with Jenny Dell. Mateusz, how does it feel? This is your third World's Strongest Man. You're going to your third final. How does that feel? I am very happy because I am young, and I had a very hard group this year. Because this athlete, Shirlakov from Russia and Janasia, beat me before this competition. And when I come here, I was very, very afraid. You just said you were very young. You have been called the future of this sport. What does that mean to you? Oh, very important is my health. If I will not healthy, I will not compete a lot of year, and I, I will be not future. So. I must be safe, my healthy. Congratulations on a great qualifying round and good luck in the final. Thank you very much. So the scoreboard looks like this in the overhead press. Mateusz Kieliuszkowski got four dumbbells to win it in 28-30. Shivlyakov, Shmokstelis, Janashia, and Best all got two. Shivlyakov had the best time of that group. So Mikhail Shivlyakov of Russia and Konstantin Janashi of Georgia now go head-to-head -head in the Atlas Stones to see who gets that one remaining spot. Here's Jenny. It all comes down to the Atlas Stone to determine who will get that second spot in the final. Our strongman will pick up this stone and individually place it on top of these platforms. But these stones ascend in weight from 330 pounds to 440 pounds. The athlete to complete the most stones in the quickest amount of time will move on to the final. So who will conquer this event? Stay tuned. World's Strongest Man on CBS Sports is sponsored by Tachi Palace Hotel and Casino in Lamore, California.
We are back here at Bonifacio Global City in Manila for the sixth and final event of the qualifiers for Group 5, where only one spot remains for the final. Nothing like a little head-to-head -head competition with this punishing, iconic event, where the athletes will be asked to lift five stones ranging from 330 to 440 pounds in the quickest time on the platforms. Representing Russia. A total of 1,845 pounds. On the left, Mikhail Shilikov, seeking his second World Strongest Man final in his fourth appearance. On the right, representing And Konstantin Janashia, on the right, seeking his third World Strongest Man final in three World Strongest Man appearances overall. Janashia got those big shoulders and traps and back. That's going to help him after he gets the stones lifted up and places them on the platforms, but it's Shivlyakov out of the gates first. Out of the gates first on the 330-pounder. Now the second stone of five. They are nearly even. Shivlyakov with a slight advantage. But here comes Janashia, and now he's got the slight lead with two stones to go. Janashia looking powerful and really starting to overtake Shivlyakov who really seems to be struggling with the heavier stones as Janashia picks up that 440-pounder and muscles it up. And he does! Konstantin Janashia of the Republic of Georgia wins the head-to-head -head Atlas Stones and gets that second spot to the final from group number five. Look at the smile of Shivlyakov, ever the gracious competitor. Janashia feeling good and proud about that excellent effort. And moving on to the 2018 Tachi Palace World's Strongest Man Final, representing the Republic of Georgia, Konstantin Janashia. Janashia. Every time he's been to the World's Strongest Man, he is qualified for the final. It was that impressive raw power and strength, that upper thoracic back strength, that allowed him to get that final stone up and that celebration, Brent, says it all. Jenny Dell with the winner. Constantine, your third straight World's Strongest Man final. What does it mean to you? Yeah, I am really happy because I, best groups this year, I am happy as final. Yeah. What do you think of the events in the final? Do you think they suit you well? Uh, final events for me is good. I don't know what's happening. Because it's very strong guys here. Yeah. I don't know. You are one of the very strong guys here. Congratulations on making it to the final. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Ah! Poland's Mateusz Kuliuszkowski and Georgia's Konstantin Janashia both move on to the final. Shivlyakov coming up short in that final head-to-head -head battle in the Atlas Stones. With a disappointing defeat for consistent leader Mikhail Shivlyakov of the Atlas Stones, our last two athletes are locked in. Georgia's Konstantin Janashia and Poland's Mateusz Kieliuszkowski advance to the final. Will one of these men become the 2018 Tachi Palace World's Strongest Man? Or will Hafthor Julius Bjornsson or Brian Shaw redeem themselves from last year's frustrating finish in the final? It's where the competition separates the men from the boys, and it comes your way next time. For Aaron Taylor, Jenny Dell, and our entire CBS crew, I'm Brent Stover. In association with IMG Original Content, this has been a presentation of CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports.